Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Alive in here, and if you are a return subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Glad to have you here. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content, such as unboxings, first impressions, reviews, vlogs, weekly fragrance rotations, and things like that. And if any of that stuff interests you at all, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. But as you guys can tell by the title above, we have an uh, unboxing video today. Now, the fragrance we're gonna be unboxing is a pretty much a complete blind buy out of nowhere. Uh, and the way I came across this fragrance is actually in my last video. I did a vlog going to TJ Maxx hunting for fragrances and trying to find a hidden gem or anything like that. And I came across this fragrance. You can go check that vlog out. It was a, a fun experience recording it. But the fragrance we're going to be unboxing and doing a first impression on is Versace Blue Jeans for Men, guys. Wow. Now, take a look at this presentation, guys. This is an absolutely unique uh, packaging here. As you can tell, it looks like jeans. You have a cowboy on the front. Um, on top, you have the Versace logo, which looks absolutely stunning. And this is an eau de toilette, and it can only comes in a 75 mil. So this is the only size you can get is a 2.5 ounces. Now, this fragrance was actually released back in 1994, so it is kind of old school. I believe it's like around 26 years old, older than me, actually. So, yeah, this is kind of crazy, but I'm glad to have this part of the collection. So let's take a... Let's open this up and do a first spray and see how I like it, this fragrance. So it comes, opens up like that. It has a yellow kind of thing on top and there it is inside. Let's pull it out. And it didn't come with any kind of cellophane or anything on it, just came like that. And here is the bottle guys, wow. Look at that bottle, that is crazy. Um, has kind of like a bluish uh, juice inside as you can see. And it just says Versace Blue Jeans Man in Yellow. And then on the top, well, that cap's pretty cool. You do have the Versace logo right there as well. And then on the bottom, you do have, of course, your batch code to authenticate your product and see when your product was actually made. All right, let's see this cap. Wow. All right, so that is on there tight. So it doesn't actually click in, it kind of slides on. But let's see, you can't pick it up by the cap, which is always nice. But yeah, it does. Huh, it's gonna have to wear it down a little bit. It's pretty tight in there. Um, and then you, of course, have your atomizer there. Nothing on the top of the atomizer, as you can see. Now, I do smell it a little bit out of the cap. Wow. And I did also smell this in store. They had another one that wasn't in the TJ Maxx packaging. Um, it was actually open. And I just smelled it out of the cap. And I thought, okay, that smells pretty interesting. But of course, you're gonna get the full experience when you spray it on your skin. So let's go ahead and do a first spray. I don't have anything sprayed on my arm right now. So let's see how this one is, guys. Versace Blue Jeans. All right, nothing. Let's get two sprays, there we go. That is a pretty decent atomizer, to be honest with you. Um, it shoots out a pretty nice juice, a little bit wide, so that's always good, of course. Nice distribution, let's put that to the side. Wow, and I smell it already, guys. Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. So I'm getting a lot of lavender, like right off the top, you're getting lavender. So it's probably gonna be a barbershop kind of fragrance, I would imagine, like most 90s fragrances are in my opinion. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are. Wow, okay, I'm picking up on that lavender right away, guys. That is actually very pleasant though. It's a very pleasant lavender in my opinion. I mean, I enjoy lavender, of course. It's probably not my favorite floral note, but it's not bad. I'm also picking up on some kind of citrus. I don't know if that's like a lemon. Hmm, wow. Yeah, I think it's lemon I'm picking up as well on the top. It's like lavender or lemony, which is going so well, so good together. Oh, but it's changing a little bit. I'm also getting something kind of creamy. Hmm, I don't know if that is vanilla. It's kind of sort of small, it's a little bit vanilla-ish. Like a, like a vanilla in there. Wow, that is actually very good, guys, huh? Now, the, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people say this one is outdated, but to my nose, being 26 years old, uh, I mean, doesn't smell the most modern, but doesn't smell bad or outdated in any kind of way. Uh, just does not smell the most modern fragrance, but you can definitely pull it off nowadays, actually. Wow, guys, this smells fantastic. Ooh, I'm actually very happy with this. Now, I, I would say this would probably work better in 
Yeah, probably like the spring and summer, I would say. Probably maybe fall as well. I would not work out in the winter because that lavender and the lemon at the top do have the vanilla. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, this does not. Eat, this doesn't even smell that generic or doesn't smell cheap by any means. Uh, Versace did a great job on this fragrance. The only other Versace that I own is the Dreamer, which is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Um, and that one actually came out in 96, so two years after the release of Blue Jeans. But yeah, guys, this is actually very good. Let me know down below if you guys have tried Blue Jeans, man, or own it, or got your nose on it, or anything like that. I'm very curious. Uh, I haven't actually seen or even heard a lot of people speak about Blue Jeans. Uh, I don't even think there's many videos on it. But, I mean, whew. This is like a hidden gem, actually, guys, in my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people we used to wear it back in the, like, the 90s and stuff, I would imagine. I just can't get over this bottle, guys. Look, it has the uh, Versace logo around the whole side. You also have like the Greek, I believe it's like Greek keys around the bottom there, which looks absolutely incredible. This is kind of a small bottle though, uh, for being a 75 mil, kind of looks like a, like a 50 mil, but it looks like here. Yeah, it looks like the glass goes all the way down, so that's probably why. Um, but yeah, this is a great fragrance, guys. I'm gonna try to obviously test it out, see how I like it more as I wear it, um, but so far, so good. But that's gonna wrap up the uh, unboxing and first impression of Versace Blue Jeans. I um, also wanna mention, this would probably work out for more of, um, this is actually very youthful, like youthful in my opinion, not so mature, it's kind of playful. By the uh, the smell of it, so yeah, pretty youthful, playful. I would say even like um, a teenager can pull out blue jeans. Uh, I wouldn't say like a grown man in like their 40s or later uh, would actually appreciate this fragrance that much. It, leaning a little bit more towards the younger crowd in my opinion i don't know what you guys think but that's just my opinion but yeah that's gonna wrap up my first impression of versace blue jeans let me know down below if you guys like this fragrance do you have any thoughts about it i'm curious to know since I, there's not much about it um and li like the video if you did like it subscribe down below if you have not already and i'll see all you guys in the next fragrance video take care everybody